Hello, this video will demonstrate how we access the Alex platform. Alex is required in order to complete homework and assessments. It comes with an ebook version of our required or recommended class book. Thus, there is no need to buy a hard copy version of the book. Also, it is cheaper to purchase the access code directly from the Alex website. The cost is around $75. So to begin the process, you could click on the login if you've already registered for Alex in a previous semester. But if you're new to Alex, you definitely want to select the sign up feature. Once you select the sign up feature, you have to enter a course code. The course code is located on the syllabus. I'm going to enter a course code. It may not be the course code for the class that you're registered for. So once again, check the syllabus for the, the, for the correct course code that you would enter. Uh, once the course code is entered, you then click on continue. and a description of the class is presented on the next page. You want to make sure that you're registering for the correct class. So the way you would do that is to look at the CRN and make sure it matches the CRN on the syllabus. Also make sure you're, you have the correct instructor, which would be my name and the correct dates. If that's valid, press confirm. And then you have some other options that you would fill out during this process because I already have an access code, so I can't really continue with the thorough process. You would have to complete the rest of the parts on your own. During the process, they will have you create a username or they will create a username for you, and then you would pay around $75 to complete the registration. And so let's take a look. So just to look at some of the screens, uh, this is what you would have to fill in. And um, that information will then allow you to register for the class. So once you apply the registration code, you enter Alex. Uh, there's some interesting features that it initiates the process with, and I want to walk you through it. So first of all, they want to help guide you into using some of their tools. And I just want to show you this process. So it's just a tutorial where they kind of walk you step by step on how to use their tools. I don't want to go through the details of this. I'll have you do that on your own. I just want to go ahead and skip this. Let's see. So, so I'm just going to select the option to skip the tutorial. But I would recommend going through it just so you can learn all the features. Now, the next option that they start you off with is you could start what's called a knowledge check. Now, this knowledge check will just test your skill sets in statistics. You could take this just to sort of see where you stand with the class. And once you do that, so let me go ahead and just click on it. They'll ask you a series of questions that will be statistics related. And then you would answer those questions. And what it will do is it will build a database of all your information that you know, and it will generate a pie. The pie will just have all of your skills that you need to have mastered by the end of the class. It's a tool that you will use at your own personal level just to measure how much you're learning throughout the class. You could always revisit that tool, 
But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and skip the knowledge check. And so just want to skip it. See, and here's like an example of the pie that I mentioned. And you could always come back and um, continue building on these skill sets if you choose to. But I just want to take you to where we need to go in our class. So once we get out of the knowledge check, and like I said, you can always come back and build up your skill sets um, on your own time. For our purposes, we want to click on this button here and we want to select assignments. When you select assignments, this is where you will see the all your homework. So let's see. So let me put deal upcoming. So you can see when you click, because right now the class hasn't started, but when you click an upcoming or once the class begins, this is where your homework and the assessments will be displayed. So then you would click and at this present moment, I'm not sure if it's open. Yeah, so it's it's locked because it doesn't start until August, but then you would click on this material and then initiate your work. And also I do have some videos that are available in this site. The videos are optional. All that's required is for you to complete all the required work and also to complete any type of assessments that are posted. Excuse me, this is a, a short overview of how to access Alex and how to work with it as a learning tool in our class. If you have any questions, feel free to contact or email me anytime and I'll try to help you as best I can. But thanks for watching this video and I'll see you online.